Psalms 1. Blessed is the one who does not walk in the step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. Praise the Lord. O oh Lord my Father, we desire to be your blessed people. Grant us the wisdom and discernment to not seek counsel among the ungodly. May we show them Jesus without seeking or listening to their counsel. O oh Lord, the ungodly are all around us. We desire to please you, to show the world who you are, but we desperately need to stay close to you to do so. Our delight is you and your words. Thank you that when we focus on you, meditate on your word and fix our eyes on Jesus, you enable us to be who you created us to be. Your word is powerful. Oh Lord, my Father, may our children delight in you and your word. That is the cry of our hearts as parents. May they not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. As they grow, bring godly and wise and loving friends and leaders into their lives. May you and your word forever be the delight of us souls. We love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Psalms were written with the purpose of drawing people into conversation with God, designed to be spoken and sung. They teach us so much about the nature of prayer and praise from their example of honest expression. The Psalmists don't hold back, but pour out their heartfelt concerns to God with deep and searching questions. Often we see a progression from from questioning to remembering God's past faithfulness, leading to worship. Psalms for prayer have the power to change our perspective right at the start of the day. When we don't know what to pray and life feels oppressive, a good place to start is reading a psalm out loud with the attitude of prayer. Instead of being overwhelmed by our circumstances, there is comfort in knowing the faith and shared experiences of those before us who have spoken the same words. There is power in reading aloud scriptures, in declaring and yielding to the truth of God's words. The reasons why our prayers so often fall flat or come out still is because they have been uprooted from the soil of the word of God. Traditionally, Psalms 1 to 5 are used by the church for morning liturgy. The first psalm is regarded as a morning prayer as it opens with a challenge to faithful Christian living.